What is up, trainers? It's your boy Trainer Power here, back in the lair for another review. Yeah, whatever, been a while, whatever. Anyway, this is a throwback review on um, Pokemon X and Y throwback review. This is about, what is this, like, XY came out like 2000, what is 2010, 2000, maybe 2009? I don't know. I don't remember. I was in like middle school, or no, I think I was in middle school, or high school, early high school, late middle school. Anyway, I'm not gonna show my age. This is a review of the Click and Go set that has the, this, apparently, this is rare. I didn't know it was rare. I got it for like, I don't know, like 20 some dollars, maybe something like that. No, I didn't, it was actually 30 some dollars. But yeah, this is the Clip and Go Pokeball set, which features my boy, my favorite Pokemon of all time, right now, at this very moment, Fletchender, and Clef Key, which I don't have in the collection, so it was always nice. And it has the, I think this is the, what is the Timer Ball? No, it's not Timer Ball, this is, um, what ball? Pokeball is, I don't remember, I'll probably remember like five seconds, because it was probably saying on the, 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 the pamphlet. But you see, and Clef Key has a Premier Ball, which, Obviously, I know it has a clip of gold Pokeballs, so let's get this closer. Prepare for battle, and you see him putting them in his look. Apparently, you can put the, you can clip the Pokeballs onto the thing. It's probably not gonna fit me, so I'm not even gonna try to put it on. But it has a classic X and Y logo Pokemon, gotta catch them all. You see it does come with tags for the Pokemon. It says attack cards, nobody cares. Um, you see Club Good Luck and Clef Queen and the boy Flesh and Deer right here. You see a pamphlet in the back, Pokemon. Clip and Carry, Pokeball, Belt, Flesh and Deer, Clef Key. And another, another name's X and Y right here on the side. You do see, I don't know what that says. X and Y. <laughs> on the back, you see some kid Pokemon, become a Pokemon trainer and other languages and stuff that I don't know how to read. Why does stuff pop off from YouTube on my screen when I'm doing this? And all that stuff right here, you see all the pictures and you see it does have older figures and sets from Tomy. God, I miss Tomy. Um, and on the bottom, you see all the crap that nobody cares about. Um, yeah, so let's get this figure open. <laughs> Now, now, quickly before we get into this thing, I'm looking at the pamphlet because I, I swear I haven't seen an XY pamphlet in years. Oh gosh, this is great. Oh my god. I can't even get a moment. Oh god, these they have some big pamphlets. Let's get this back from. Just a little quick shot of all the Pokemon figures they had. I should get the starters, but I don't know. Oh, and I remember they used to have the posters. I remember this. I still don't have Fletch in there. I need that one just to complete this. Well, I need Talonflame, but they didn't make a Talonflame yet, I don't think. And if they did, I don't know about it. But they just, I need all the, I just want all these now. Uh, okay, I'm gonna keep the poster though. Um, anyway, kids don't, uh, well, you know, because no kids are supposed to be watching my video, but um, it just for the slick, oh, click chance. Okay, so be careful. If you ever get these, I don't know how available or ready they are to you. They do come with stands because these are two flying slash floating figures. I think this is Flessinger, so you see the leg imprint right there. And then right here is Clef Keys. You do see the imprint right here. And I'm pretty sure they fell out of their spot, so I'm gonna have to go look for them. Clef Key, you do see it. Oh, you know what, Cam, you don't want to focus when I want you to focus. I would love you to focus, thank you. You see Clefie's butt's supposed to go there. Let's move these to the side, don't lose them. And here is a clip and go Pokeball accessory. This is obviously not gonna fit around my waist because I am a, I'm as big as a human being as I could possibly be. Uh, and but yeah this is basically it and this is the ball the pokeball would literally okay let's move okay let's move these guys out the way um but yeah these would obviously this is the i think this, i don't know what ball this is um but this would clip right here into the 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 the, the, the slot slot for the clip and you would wear like a pokeball in the vest that's how it go um, these Pokeballs are good. I think the Wicca Cool Toy Slash Jazz Wars ones are better because they don't have this big chunking piece of plastic in the corner. But yeah, that's, they were hang right there. And just so you can see that, I don't know if you saw it. I really don't know if any of you people, guys, trainers, excellent Pokemon trainers saw it. But just in case you do slide, pull that, we'll slide the little thing in here and you do have two Pokeballs hanging from the belt. I'll probably hang this from like one of the shelves. But just for reference, we will put these in the background right here. I okay so next we're gonna look at the okay everything is falling down so next we're gonna look at the pokemon attack cards this is the one for flesh Nerd. you can see it's a fire and flying type and on the back it does it not does not say any attack so this is this fire type attack that's not even okay and this is for klefki obviously steel and fairy and nonsense on the back move that over there in the corner and we will get to the figures now to start off the review, we will look at Clef Key because he is the most, well, least dis least desirable in my case because I do not, I am not, I, I don't dislike Clef Key, but I don't have any attachment to it. But one thing I did, I do miss about Tommy is when they made small figures, they put detail into it. But just for quick 360, this is Clef Key right here. And you do see it has a little, 
I'm not going to even say that. It has a key right here, and you see Clef Key's face. I don't know if you can see that up close. It's like a little keyhole with two eyes, and you can see how it's a fairy type, but the keys move. They're like real keys, except they're not real keys. <laughs> but you do see golden keys right here. Oh, do they come off? Oh, they do come off. Okay, that's 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 cool. That's really cool. I didn't expect that. Oh my gosh. And you see the keys right here, different types of keys. Oh, that's, that's thing cool. All of them come off. So it's like, you can have, a, like, if you're doing stop motion, you can have, like, clef keys. Like, you remember the episode of clef key where he lost all his keys in the anime? I think that's an episode. If I'm making that up, it's terrible. Um, But these, this is pretty awesome. I wasn't excited for it, but I'm actually glad I have it now. I mean, it, it does feel a little light, but it, it reminds me of, like, the keys from my, my niece or anybody like that, little kids. But it does come with a stand because clef key cannot, I don't think it can stand on its own, but I think you just put this in clef. Is that where it goes? I'm not even sure where this goes. Okay, this is probably the word. I should have did my research on this before I did this. Um. Okay, so that's how, okay. It's just the thing down. So you have to lay clef key on the ground like this and have the keys like this. And then you just sit it on the stand and it's just like this. And that works. Clef key. This is a pretty good figure. I didn't expect clef key, clef key to be anything interesting. I'm gonna leave this right here for the remainder of the video just because get the knife out of the way. You don't need to show people that at all. And for the next figure, well, the second figure in the set, which is my favorite football figure, I love this. <laughs> um, is Fletchender. Now, Fletchender, I, the reason I like Fletchender more than Talonflame is just because Fletchender just looks like a chubby old bird, and you know, it's brighter, brighter colors. Talonflame is a little darker with the scales and the fur and stuff like that. Fletchender just looks streamlined, like a real. It looks like it could be a real bird. I mean. Honestly, Richard is like two feet tall or something like that. And honestly, if a bird was two feet tall, I'd probably be scared. But um, especially when they could fly. But um, yeah, quick look at the face of Richard there. It's a good boy, a little paint smear, but a beak that's not gonna kill any vibes here. But you see the yellow, the yellow um wings with the black on it. You see the white tail. Everything is sculpted in. This is what I like about po the the Pokemon figure that sculpt everything in. I love it. It's just like I add a realism, a level of realism to it. But you see Tommy on the back, you see his little feet. The feet are very soft, so if you ever have these, I don't know, I don't know the situation you're in where you can get in these, be careful because these will break off. And it does say, what, I don't even, it doesn't even say here, that's crazy. Well, the Fletcher is awesome. Look at the face, this is fierce fire chicken bird, fierce fire robin. I love Fletcher. But he did come with a stand because obviously Fletcher's feet are too, it stands, what the crap? Um. I didn't mean to say that, but anyway, what the crud? Um, why does Fletcher Jerome? It stands, but it doesn't need to stand. Okay, and it, okay, well you can't knock it down, but but it stands. Maybe it's because it's a flatter surface, and like you know. But if you do need to stand, which I highly recommend, you don't throw it away on accident. So I would look in the, like get a good idea where the stand is. But you put it under, like it's like sitting like an egg. You just put it under here. The leg lines up like it has a little um rhythm. I was I think you would say okay, it's white, so it's gonna mess up the camera. Let's focus on my hand. Has a little rhythm for the foot, so you just slide it on there, and you like kind of like make it grip it. Oh, it's, does that both sides? Yeah, it has both sides. So it's literally like a seat for it, and it will sit down nicely. Yeah, this is this is a better set than I thought. I'll be. Mean, you would think two of these figures, like one of them by themselves, would probably not. Well, Fletcher probably because Fletcher's awesome. But Klefki and Fletcher, I mean, if you want these figures, um, apparently they're rare. I was told, I was told not to open them, which I don't see the point of buying toys you're not going to open unless they're like something where, like, if you open it, you'll you blow up or something like that. Which I don't, I doubt that a toy company would make that. And if they did, shame on you. But um, these figures are awesome. I really like Fletcher. It's probably one of my favorite figures right now at this very moment, just due to the fact that I love Fletcher as a favorite Pokemon right now. And um, and I'm Pyro Sun, so obviously like fire types. But these figures look amazing. If you guys want this figure, good luck finding it. I got it on eBay for a good deal. I honestly thought I was gonna get ripped off, but I didn't. Thank, thank the Poke Gods. But I'm like, if you can get these figures, get them. They're older. They're from around X and Y era. I can't even pinpoint what time and place and year that was. But if you can find them, get them and. I wouldn't say go over like $30, $40 at max. If you go $50 and you have the money for it, then go ahead for it. But I'm saying if you're if you're anyone in the younger audience, which I don't recommend you, well, I don't recommend you spending money. Well, if you're a kid, you could probably get away with it. But I'm saying if you have bills and stuff like that, please don't look for these figures. But if you don't, do it. But I'm saying if you can get these figures for under $40, I would do it. Um, I got lucky. And yeah, let me know what figures you want me to review from X and Y series now. I mean, I don't know. One next review will be it probably hopefully soon because Jazzware has been they did announce the samurai figure, 
the electrifier figures coming out and they have the new small figures like these but anyway guys if you like this video leave a comment subscribe because i need you to subscribe it helps me out a lot it gets me closer to my goal and it helps me it, it puts joy in my heart and makes me more eager to put out videos so you guys can watch reviews and stuff like that i know we all love pokemon here let's help out each other um and give me some suggestions i don't know um what figures you want me to do if you want me to do figures you want me to do um vinyl figure statues anything like that just let me know you have to let me know in the comics be um you and you if most 90 percent times ask anybody you you uh write a you write a comment i'll respond within a reasonable amount of time and um uh, yeah guys keep training